Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today we will talk about the hydrostatic force on the couch surfaces. So already we need to understand that why it is important for us to understand what is the amount of hydrostatic force that are acting on the submerged couch surfaces. So let us take the examples. You see this dam is a couch surface, right? So in order to understand what exact amount of force this dam has, has to withstand, we need to be, even before designing people should know that what is the amount of force that it has to withstand and based on that force you design the dam, right, for its safety. So how do engineers make sure that what is the amount of hydrostatic force that is acting on this couch surface? So today we are going to talk about hydrostatic force and its estimation on the couch surfaces. Similarly, you talk about this couch surface in the tunnel, water, underwater tunnel for passing the trains. Then the couch surfaces of the submarine or you can say couch surfaces of the underwater hotels. So all of these examples are such that you need to understand and figure out what is the exact amount of hydrostatic force acting on the couch surface. And this uh, input will be really helpful for design engineers to figure out uh, the, to design these particular structures for its safety, right. So let us move ahead. Today we will talk about the hydrostatic force on the couch surface, okay. So let us say for example, I have this container where the liquid or any fluid is filled and I want to know that from point A to point C, this is the couch surface, what is the exact amount of force that this particular fluid is applying on this surface, right. Now here you cannot say that FR is equals to PC into A because at each of this point, if you see at each of this point, as the hydrostatic force will always be acting normal, the direction of small, small forces are all, are all different. Right. So, how will you figure out the total force acting on this particular cowed surface? So, let us understand this. So, let me clear this aspect. So, what I will do is, what we will do is, we will mark a horizontal line from the end, both the ends. So, we will mark a horizontal line from this end and a vertical line from this end. And then we will try to see the amount of fluid which is captured in these two planes and the surface itself. So, whatever dash line that you see is the pocket of the fluid, the element of the fluid which is filled in this particular uh, uh, sample, right. Now, what do you do? Uh, you take this pocket outside because the fluid is at rest. That means all the forces acting on this fluid element will also be in equilibrium, yes. So, I can take this outside and now we will see what all are the forces acting on this fluid element. So, there are two types of forces. One is surface force, one is body force. Surface force will act on the surface of this liquid pocket and the body force basically is the weight force which will act at the CG. Now if you look at surface AB, the surface AB will be applied by the fluid pressure forces from the top. So let us say we know the pressure over here is distributed in, a, in the same way. So Fy is a vertical force acting on this particular face called AB. Now force on face BC we can easily figure out because we know it is a plane surface. So both of these are plane surfaces. Why? Because now for plane surfaces, finding out the hydrostatic force is very easy. We just need to find out the pressure at a centroid point of the plane surface and multiply with that area. So you can have this value, you can have this value. Now W can also be calculated depending on the mass of this fluid element and multiply it with G. This is also available with you. Question is what is the forces on this? See my purpose is to find out this. Let me draw this something. This is my section AC. And if I want to find out the force acting on this section AC or the curved surface AC due to fluid, let us say that the horizontal component of that force will be FH and the vertical component of the force will be FV. These are the two force acting on this, on this curved surface by the help of fluid. Now, if I am standing on a floor, so let me just uh, show you one thing. Let us say I have this upper, I mean right hand and left hand. I am pushing my I am uh, I'm, I'm, I'm applying the force on my left hand with the help of right hand, right, downward force. So let us say force is of 100 Newton. Now if I apply 100 Newton, so for right hand, the 100 Newton force is applied downward. But can I say the same force is applied by my right hand, uh, my left hand on the right hand in upward direction, the reaction force, equal and opposite. Why? You can even feel that. So when you apply the pressure or the force, you can feel pressure at the joints as well. That means the left hand is also applying force on your right hand in upward direction, equal and opposite, right? So if you want to find out force by the water or by the fluid on the solid surface, that is also equal and opposite to the force 
by the plate to the solid to the fluid surface so if you do look at about this uh, particular element the horizontal force that fluid is applying on the surface will be equal and opposite to the horizontal force that solid surface is applying on the fluid body so fh is over here then let's say fv is the vertical force applied by a solid surface to the water body now your purpose is to find is fh and fv the resultant will be fr then you can take the resultant force now once fh and fv is known to be then finding resultant force is very easy question is how do you get fh and fv from the equations of equilibrium why because i know this fluid is in equilibrium that means the the ele each element of the fluid will be in equilibrium therefore this element is also in equilibrium if this element is in equilibrium it means that let me show this let me assume that positive x is right side positive y is upward so firstly summation of forces along vertical direction should be equal to zero yes that means if i talk about vertical forces what are the vertical forces one is fv one is w and one is fi so let's say positive upward is uh, i mean the force in upward is positive so fv is positive i'll put vertical v here fv is positive then fi is negative minus fi w is minus equal to 0 so fv is equals to fy plus w simple you got this equation you know what is fy fy is the force acting on this plane surface which you can easily find by multiplying area with the pressure of this particular centroid and w is the weight of the fluid element isn't it similarly i can also say that force on the horizontal direction should also be equal to zero net force in horizontal direction so what are the forces on horizontal direction one is fh one is fx now let us say positive axis i mean forces in the rightward direction is positive so fh is positive this fx is negative equals to zero and therefore fh is equals to fx now i know the value of fx because this is the force acting on the plane surface for a plane surface i easy i can simply locate the centroid point and i can find the pressure at the centroid point and whatever is the pressure i can multiply by the area to get the force simple so i can have both the value fh and fv once fh fv are known to me fr is equals to under root of fh square plus fv square simple i hope you got this understanding right so don't remember this formula as it is don't remember the formula just remember the logic how did we do again i'm repeating whatever sections you want to find the force i mean at whatever section you want to find the hydrostatic force simply draw mark the end points and from end points mark the horizontal and vertical lines pick up the fluid pocket filled between these two planes and the surface itself take it outside try to mark all the surface force and the body force and do the equilibrium equations you will get the answers whatever reaction force that you will have on from surface side fh and fv these are the exact values which fluid is also applying on the solid surface that is fh and fv clear all right so let us uh take another look at one of the another uh, kind of curved surface so let's say this is a curved surface these are the end points 1 and 2 i want to find out the uh, force acting on this curved surface by the fluid okay so this curved surface i'll put the vertical line the horizontal line from the end points i i i can get the pocket from here i'll take this outside okay so this pocket i'll take it outside so i can say that this is the pocket okay on this surface i will have the force let's say f y on this surface i will have the force fx by the fluid and on this surface which is a interaction with solid boundary the reaction forces are fh and fv which i will not be aware of right and the vertical force weight will be downward simple now i know the value of fx i can get the value of fy i can get the value of w i don't know what is fv and fh you can simply use the equation so let us say summation of f in vertical direction should be equal to 0 so take vertical lot to be positive so fy is positive minus w minus fv equal to 0 my purpose is to find fv so fv you take right hand side you will get fv should be equals to fy minus w similarly you take summation of forces along horizontal direction to be 0 there are two forces in horizontal direction let us say uh, you have positive force towards right side so fx is positive and fh is negative minus fh to be equal to 0 you take fh on the right hand side you will get fh to be equals to fx so how you can get fx fx is the pressure force on this plane surface 
एफ वाई इज अ प्रेशर फोर्स ऑन दिस प्लेन सर्फेस ऑन द बॉटम विच यू कैन इजिली गेट बेज ऑन द फॉर्मुला ऑफ द हाइड्रोसेटिक फोर्स ऑन द प्लेन सर्फेस राइट विच वी ऑलरेडी फाउंड सो वी विल सी दिस इन द एग्जाम्पल्स टू गेट मोर क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस बट यू सी द इक्वेशन विल वेरी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अरेजमेंट ऑफ द काउट सर्फेस सो डोंट यूज डोंट रिमेम्बर द फॉर्मुला जस्ट गो बाय द लॉजिक सी इन द प्रीवियस केस इट वॉज एफ वी वॉज एफ वाई प्लस डब्ल्यू बट इन द सेकेंड केस एफ वी इज एफ वाई माइनस डब्ल्यू एफ वाई माइनस डब्ल्यू सो डोंट रिमेम्बर द फॉर्मुला जस्ट गो बाय लॉजिक द मोमेंट यू गो बाय लॉजिक आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर यू विल नॉट फेल यू विल आई मीन यू विल नॉट बी रॉन्ग यू विल ऑलवेज बी राइट द लॉजिक्स आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन इंजीनियरिंग so thank you so much we'll see you in the next class where we will talk about the numericals when we when we solve the numericals of this particular topic so for more such conceptual videos on different subjects of engineering log in to our website www.clericonceptscom thank you